a thick ass boy. Damn. Hey, what's up guys? So uh, you just watched me finish my workout or do my workout. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, so I'm just gonna be answering some personal questions for you guys because uh, you guys seem to want to know who I am other than the, just the dude on TikTok who makes weird faces and weird videos and like dad jokes. So first, the most asked question is probably, Alan, where are you from? What state do you live in? I am from New York, King New York, New York City to be specific. I'm not gonna tell you what borough I'm from. It's for you to assume. Um, yeah, like, I don't take pride in it. Like, I mean, like, I, I, of, co of course I take pride in it, but it's not my whole whole personality. Like some of these people like, oh, bacon, egg and cheese, or oh, uh, New York, oh, that ass be, oh, Tim's, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, right. I'm from New York, so yeah, New York City. New York City. The second most asked question is, what do I do for work? So, um, before the pandemic went down, I worked at a hedge fund, you know, doing grunt work for them. I wasn't like some high level position. Um, I was making good money off of that. And then I lost my job before the pandemic. So there's that. I really, really, really liked it there. Really liked it there. Um, but you know, all good things come to an end. I started a TikTok like literally a month after the, the pandemic happened and I blew up and I'm in the midst of thinking if I should do social media as a full-time thing or you know maybe I might put this all on the back burner and go back to working in an office. Who knows what the future holds for me but as of right now with the pandemic still going on I'm just growing my social media, making money off of that. I'm making a good amount of money, but since it's self-employment, once tax season comes around, I'll probably get screwed. So now the third most asked question is... Now the third most asked question is, where did I go for school? And what did I study in school? Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys where I went to school. It's a little personal, too personal. Uh, I studied systems management. I had a focus in electrical engineering. Um, that sounds really complicated, but it's really not. Um, systems management is basically just, uh, their goal was to bridge business and some sort of science, some sort of STEM. So uh, of course my focus was in electrical engineering. Um, I mean, I dabbled in mechanical engineering when I first gone to university, but not that much, you know? Um, I graduated in 2019, so 23 years old, you guys. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna use my degree anymore. People also wanna know what ethnicity am I? I am Chinese, guys. Um, do I speak Chinese? I don't speak Chinese that well. If you guys know the, like all the different like subgroups of Chinese people, I guess. I'm Toisan, which is, um, or Hoisan, uh, which is like a, like a, 
like a what's it called like a village version of Cantonese so I could understand Cantonese I could speak Cantonese if I like really think about what I'm saying but uh, I speak Toisan and I am a Toisan person so yeah I am not Korean do not do not say I'm Korean do not ask if I'm Korean a lot of people ask me what my um, religious or political beliefs are um, I'm not religious I think I have no clue like I think I stem from like Buddhism because my parents have like I think in like Buddhist culture or whatever it's called you're supposed to give like a newborn a jade and I do have a jade I just don't wear it you know um, and apparently in Buddhist culture or Buddhist religion whatever I don't know honestly I don't know um, you're not supposed to wear a jade around your neck for like you know um, accessories it's not supposed to be for looks you know but a lot of people do that and that's not good apparently I'm not sure if you know then let me know but um me personally I don't really believe in a god or anything you know um, do am I am I opposed to believing in one no not really but like as of right now I just don't believe in one um, it would make sense to me that like somehow all this was you know created but <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue. I'm just chilling. So yeah. What are my political beliefs? Um, I have no clue. I, I don't. I don't follow politics at all, guys. Like, my belief is that if you don't know how to shut the fuck up about Biden or Trump, then you're annoying as fuck. <laughs> um, <sighs> do I have any political beliefs? I mean, like, I don't really talk about politics. Mainly because, you know, I'm just, I, it's just like fitness, you know, if you're not educated on fitness, then what are you out there trying to influence people on, you know, like, I have no clue what the hell is going on in the political world, that's why I don't talk about it, you know, I don't want to influence people's opinions when I have no clue what I'll be saying, All right, guys, so, yeah, I have no political opinions, because, I don't know, I'm, Maybe I'm fucking stupid. Okay, um, those were basically all the questions when I put up my um, ask me anything personal poll. You know, like, you guys are fucking boring, bro. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna be trying to shell out a lot more YouTube videos now. Um, yeah, now that I'm learning how to edit a little more, I'm a little more quick with it. So hopefully, hopefully, I'll be releasing more YouTube videos. So ask me questions. Let me know what you want to see. I'm going to be doing the same format where I work out and I might just like afterwards talk about random things. It doesn't have to do with working out. It could do to it could have to do with working out, you know. But just gonna be just gonna be vibing over here. Have a good day you guys. Thanks for watching.